Arena! That's close enough. So you're out. Let Reyna go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? If you'll excuse me, sir, we are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reyna. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Stop it! This isn't anything holy! You can't force someone into marriage like this! Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love! Alan? Love with... Oh, no! Mr. Kenny! Guy, Reyna? I don't know. Ever since he came to Arlia, it's like he was possessed by something. But people don't just turn into this kind of monster. What's going on here? Alan, you were such a good person, too. Reyna. Why did this have to happen? Ah. Uh... He's still breathing. Where am I? Huh? Reyna, why are you here? Alan, you're back! What do you mean? Oh, my head's spinning. I feel like I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Now let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. I did all of that? Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. Wow. I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? Yep. It was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. And now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. 
Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. I don't remember much after that, but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan. Reyna, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reyna. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. Reyna! Well, looks like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Reyna's life not once, but twice now. Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole little episode? That little stone he found in the Salva Mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Hmm. First you go mad, then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The sorcery globe. That's just something that popped into my mind anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, rumors about the hero... I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. I see. Would you mind investigating the Sorcery Globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request, but frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the Sorcery Globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? The Sorcery Globe. As of now, the Sorcery Globe seems to be the only thing on this planet that has any connection to outer space. I don't have anything else that's even close to a lead right now. Knowing what I know now, it's hard to think of the Sorcery Globe as just a normal meteorite. Finding more about it could prove to be more valuable than I thought. All right, I'll do it. You will? Ah, but, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Reyna! You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Reyna, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that, but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? 
so you're going to need some kind of guide in your travels. I could at least provide you with that, right? I suppose so, yes. Come on, Mayor, help me out here. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along if that's what she wants? Mayor... I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over some. Okay, I got it. But get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not gonna let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I... Yes? Oh, Raina! Are you still here? Have a good night. What's the matter with her? Oh, well... <laughs> I can't have myself catch a cold out. Yes, sir. <laughs> 